Welcome to the EnergyModels.com eQuest case study course. So we believe the best way to learn eQuest, as with many things, is to just learn by doing. You shouldn't be afraid to just open up the program and start messing around because you won't break anything, and you don't need to be a PhD engineer to get a handle on the basics. Our goal with this course is to do just that and make it as realistic as possible. So we're going to go way beyond just theory and do something that is immediately useful by showing you how to build an actual model in eQuest, test different variables, and then interpret those results. So what the heck are we going to model? Well, we're from the Midwest, so let's start in Chicago. And say you have a 22,000 square foot office building and you need to replace the boiler. So you've been given several options, but the option you want to look into is upgrading to a high efficiency boiler. So you say, big deal, I'll go old school and just calculate this by hand. And sure, you can do that, but building the model in eQuest gives you the ability to do additional evaluations that you can only dream of doing on a spreadsheet. We'll cover that kind of thing later in the course, but for now let's get back to this office building in Chicago. So you've got limited knowledge about building specific details, but you know the following. Option 1 is an 83% efficient standard boiler. Option 2 is a 96% high efficiency boiler. We don't know the installed cost yet, but we do know the high efficiency boiler will cost $1,000 more. So you say to yourself, damn you limited data, how am I supposed to make a justifiable decision based on this? But guess what? eQuest is smart enough to fill in the blanks. 